I finally did it. I got my hands on the most elusive mouse and keyboard adapter out there, the Zim Matrix. This adapter is pretty much out of stock everywhere you look. So I had to do the unthinkable and buy it from some random scalper off eBay. I paid a little bit more than I should have, but at least I got my hands on it. You may be wondering, how much did I pay for the Matrix? Well, I paid a little bit more than $200. The MSRP for this adapter is only $120, so I definitely paid above the asking price for this adapter. But what makes this mouse and keyboard adapter better than any of the other ones on the market? It's supposed to be the best mouse and keyboard adapter to own, and I want to find out why. So in today's video, we are going to be reviewing the Matrix and seeing if it's actually worth the steep asking price of 120. Let's get into it. Starting off with the unboxing. Once you get your hands on one of these bad boys, go ahead and open the box. You will be greeted with this adapter itself and a 5 foot type C cable. The adapter itself has three USB ports and a type C port, plus a internet port on the back. The two USBs on the side of the device are for your mouse and keyboard. The USB port on the back side of the adapter is for your controller. The USB type C port on the back is how you connect it to your computer or console. The internet port is only for the PS5. Now, it's a little weird that there's no paper manual. Instead, everything is online on their website or YouTube channel. If you want a quick shortcut, look at the front side of the box. It says get started at Zim Tech slash start. There's a QR code. Scan the QR code and it will take you right to the website. Moving on to setting up your matrix and making sure it's up to date. I want to mention you need a laptop or computer to update your matrix. Once you have one of those, go to Zim tech slash start. You should be greeted with a page that says get started with your Zim matrix. Click get started. It will bring you to the first page of the form. I highly recommend watching all the instruction videos before touching your adapter so you can get a head start on how to do everything. At the top of the form, there's a link for the firmware and update. Click that and it will bring you to a page where you can download the firmware and the manager. Let's start with the manager. Click on it and it will take you right to this page with the download links for your platforms. Android, iOS, PC. Since I'm on PC, I'm going to click the PC version and it should start downloading. Then go back to the first page and download the firmware. The firmware can only be downloaded on a Mac and PC. There are only two versions since I'm on Windows 10, I'm going to download the PC version. After that, launch the firmware to update your Zim matrix. First, put it in updating mode by connecting a USB type C cable between your computer and the adapter. Before plugging it into the adapter, press and hold the button on the top plastic of the Zim matrix. Then plug it into the USB type C cable. If done correctly, the adapter will start glowing blue and you can let go of the button. Go back to your computer and click update firmware. This process will take a few minutes. Once your firmware confirms that is up to date, go ahead and unplug the adapter from your computer, then replug it in. After that, launch the manager. The manager can also be downloaded on your Android device or iOS device. It allows you to tune your settings to your liking. I'll show both ways to customize your Zim using your phone or your computer. Using a computer is straightforward. Just plug the USB Type-C cable into the adapter and start adjusting your settings. The Zim Matrix software also provides custom settings for over a hundred different games. Moving on, the manager offers more in-depth tuning options such as changing your DPI, key binding and mapping and more. Moving on to setting up the app on your Android phone or iOS device. First, you need to visit the App Store or the Play Store. Search for the Zim Matrix app and download it on your device. Since I have an Android phone, that's what I'll be using. 
So I want to show you guys real quick of how to properly set up your matrix and make sure everything's hooked up properly. Even though I kind of showed you guys how to do it a second ago, I just want to make sure you do it right. Uh, you can either use the left or right for your keyboard and mouse. Um, right now I have my mouse on my right hand side and my keyboard on the left hand side. And then, as I said, the controller port is on the back of the adapter. So just plug in the controller. You want to make sure all this is plugged in before plugging it into the console. Once you do that, just make sure the USB is already plugged into the console and plug it into the Type-C port back here. Again, the infinite port is only for the PlayStation 5, so you don't have to worry about ever using it if you don't have a place. If you're using a PlayStation, you want to use this to connect to your console. Um, so USB Type-C into the back. Now it should glow rainbow. Oh, is it? Yep, there we go. Okay. Now it's glowing green, can, connecting to the Xbox, and we are all good. We're hooked up. Okay, so moving over to the phone and the app. You want to go to the Marketplace store and type in the Zim Matrix, as I have, I have in the bottom search here. And I, of course, already have it installed, but this is what it looks like if you're unaware what app you need to download. Uh, Zim Matrix Manager. Go ahead and open it up and it's connecting. Now, if it doesn't connect to your phone, it's gonna ask you that permission to connect. Uh, there's this little button here, as I showed you earlier, how to put it in programming mode. You basically click the same button, you just click it. And this means it's in pairing mode. Now, it will sit there and keep glowing blue. That means it's looking for your device and then it, your phone should come up automatically pairing to the device. So I'm already on a preset uh, program for Rainbow. I called it Epic because <laughs> I got mouse trapped instantly. We don't talk about that. So you wanna hit the free lines over here and hit new configuration or load configuration. I have preset ones already, so I probably can't see it home. So I'm gonna hit new configuration. And these are the games you can pick from. There's quite a bit. There's like, I think there's 140. So it's over hundred games you can download. So I'm just going to find Rainbow again and actually, yeah, Rainbow, 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 Rainbow Six Siege. So then you choose what console you're on. So I'm on the Xbox Series X, so I'm going to click that. And then it asks you what you want, mouse and keyboard. This is mainly focusing on the mouse and keyboard adapter part. I want to do a deeper uh, review of just the settings and stuff like that of the Matrix on a later video. But that's all I'm going to say for now. Uh, mouse and keyboard you click on it it's going to load up it's adding the configuration right now so this is going to take a few minutes they'll load but once it does load we can adjust everything and i'll show you how to tune your sense to your liking so now we are loaded up now if you want to go to your zim matrix and make sure your in-game settings match what the matrix wants you to so i'm on the form now and since we're playing rainbow zoom in where is rainbow so these are the sense settings that i want to the, to have your sense in game set to now i just uh, personally i just customize them but you want to customize your your loadout or your configurations it's a little i don't know it's like pencil with a line and then it brings up this page so this is your dpi for some reason, the higher your DPI is, the slower your mouse moves. And the lower your DPI, the faster your mouse moves. Maybe it's just the mouse I'm using um, that it does this with. But it's, you know, reality, it's opposite way. Higher DPI, the faster your mouse is going to move. The slower the DPI is, the slower your mouse is going to move. For some reason, it's opposite in the app. Or whatever. It is, it is what it is. So... To change more settings, you just swipe over and it brings up your mouse sensitivity or hip fire aim. You can up it or decrease it. Uh, your smoothness, you can change it. And then slide over, this brings up to, oh, hold on, there we go. Slide over, this is your aim down sensitivity. So again, changing it. And then you can fine tune it by clicking this and add delay in if you want to. And then the map keys, you just slide over again. And it's pretty straightforward. You just click on it, click on the key you want to map. So if you want to change what button or what uh, controller button, this is linked, this is the ease link to. Just click it here and then you change it. Um, I don't know, 
that's new. Oh, so we'll get back to that. And then to change the keybind mapping, you just click on it, and then you can pick from the all the keybinds that your uh, keyboard has. The cool part about this, if you click the key on your on your keyboard, it would actually show up in the app of what you're clicking, and so it makes it ten times easier while mapping. But that's pretty much how to use this app. It's pretty straightforward. There's tons of videos of how to tune this by, like, of course, Rainbow Six Siege players, because I assume that's what mainly this is sold for. Mainly who buys it is people who are trying to play Rainbow. But let's move back to the normal review. One of the things that I would like to mention about the Zim Matrix is there's absolutely no input lag, which is exactly what you should expect for a $120 adapter. With that being said, let's talk about gaming performance. I must say, this adapter is absolutely amazing, offering an incredible amount of customization. The first game I tested with the Matrix was Rainbow Six Siege. As many of you know, Ubisoft recently introduced Mousetrap, a detection software designed to identify devices like the Matrix and other mouse and keyboard adapters. If Mousetrap detects your adapter, it introduces a slight input lag. Returning to how this adapter performs in Rainbow Six Siege, I started off with a level 40 account and worked my way up, aiming to reach ranked play. Unfortunately, on my third unranked game, I got caught by Mousetrap, and my matrix was detected, resulting in the penalty. It's quite disappointing because I thought this adapter would bypass Mousetrap, but apparently it's just that good. Or I'm just that good, you never know. However, I discovered a workaround. Simply leave the game when the final replay occurs and you won't receive a penalty. You'll still get your progress and rank, but for some reason, Mousetrap doesn't seem to work when you do this. Overall, this adapter is absolutely outstanding. When it comes to Rainbow Six Siege, it's probably the best mouse and keyboard adapter I have ever used, and I've tried many. Now, let's move over to Apex Legends. Apex also performs extremely well. The preset settings can be a bit bothersome, so I highly recommend creating a custom profile and adjusting from there. I'm very satisfied with how this adapter performed. I was able to rack up plenty of kills and secure the victory. Next up, Rust. My favorite console game. I'm not being serious. Rust requires a lot of customization and tons of settings and keybinds since I prefer the PC version over the console. I had to make numerous modifications to the adapter settings to suit my preferences. That being said, it was amazing to have control over my sensitivity and move it. I thoroughly enjoyed playing console rust using this adapter, and I'm extremely pleased with its performance. Moving on to Overwatch, my experience with this adapter was quite disappointing. For some reason, there was always some sort of input lag or jittering. It was incredible challenging to control, and the aim assist was inconsistent. Overall, it was a nightmare. I think it's better to stand clear of this adapter if you plan on using it for Overwatch. Now, on to my favorite game to test with these adapters. Insurgency Samstorms. I feel that this game, being a direct PC port, showcases the full potential of mouse and keyboard on console. The adapter performs outstanding, excellent in this game. To summarize, my overall opinion of the Matrix is it's pretty amazing. Do I think it's worth the MSRP? Definitely. I don't recommend it buying it from some scalper over $200. It's not worth that much, but it's still a really good adapter. It performs incredibly well in most games. Unfortunately, it does have its downsides. Overall, it's a solid adapter. With that being said, I include my review here. If you are interested in purchasing this adapter, I'll include the links to the description of the website down below. If you can get your hands on one, I wasn't able to to make this video, sadly. That's, you know, the downside you take with a 
highly anticipated adapter. I highly recommend checking it out. I think it's definitely worth the asking price of 120. I think that's about it. Have a good one, guys.